Any protest, any change or revolution not founded on the list below has no chance of changing anything. These very pillars of the system must fall or they will block any transformation of the human condition. The system does not need to be tinkered with or even fundamentally changed on the surface. The whole bloody lot must go. Starting with an end to creating money out of thin air on computer screens and charging interest on it, the fractional reserve lending. An end to governments borrowing fresh air money called credit from private banks and people paying interest on this money that has never, does not and never will exist. Governments, and that concept must change radically, can create their own currency free of interest. An end to private banks issuing non-existent money called credit to all and thus creating money as debt from the very start. An end to casinos like Wall Street and the City of London betting mercilessly on the financial and commodity markets with the lives of billions of people around the world. An end to all professional lobby groups that earn their living and their clients living from corrupting the professionally corruptible. Vast numbers of world's politicians and the overwhelming majority on Capitol Hill. An end to no contract government in which mendacious politicians can promise the people they will do this and that to win their support and then do the very opposite after they have lied themselves into office. An end to the centralization of power in all areas of our lives and a start to diversifying power to communities to decide their own lives and thus ensure there are too many points of decision making for any cabal to centrally control. That is just for starters. What good will come from rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic? None. The banking system as we know it does not need to be changed. It needs to be gone. It is a criminal activity based on fraud, extortion and, through its effect, on worldwide mass murder. Its replacement needs to be decided by the population, not by the very people who created it in the first place and who are covertly manipulating a new global structure of financial control based on a world central bank.